for, for a host of PMS symptoms, or, or migraine building headaches, bone, or building, building bone. bone, okay, mental and emotional stability, but also to prevent Alzheimer's. It's well, incredible. Yeah, and one of the main points that he made ha was a, a, a reflection of uh, French physicians who did a lot of studies and, and discovered that uh, natural progesterone uh, is the substance used by the Schwann cells on myelin. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you, know, you have to understand how neurons work. You're not going to get a message from any one nerve cell to the next unless you've got the myelin sheet that covered, that conducts that message from one neuron to the next. You can't think, you can't work, that, that nothing, nothing works in your body from one nerve cell to the next without this uh, uh, myelin well, sheet. Myelin, and myelin sheet protects the nerve from protects being short circuited. It from right. other nerves. Okay. Exactly right. And those Schwann cells, I always remember that name because I think of little swans floating on top of the myelin. The Schwann <laughs> cells have receptor sites for the substance that they need to make them active at doing their job of building myelin. And guess what that is? Proven by the French physicians years ago that, that this is natural progesterone. And they, be, they began working first, first with animals, showing that they had demyelinating illnesses like uh, al Lou Gehrig's uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, multiple sclerosis, et cetera, and so forth, and showed that natural progesterone could remyelinate these demyelinated, um, like they looked like tree bow bows of trees mm -hmm. that had no leaves. They had demyelinated, and they remyelinated them with natural progesterone. Okay, and Dr. Lee's work, I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg here, but uh, the point is that uh, that was incredible work, and. What about Dr. Lee's work with knowing about, how, about the bones, that, that the, uh, the osteoblasts that convert minerals to bone are inactive without natural progesterone? That's their food. Now, all of this, and you don't need it, guys? Well, sure, you, you don't need it. You want, you want to rot away? Go ahead, rot away. And the body stops producing it at a certain point in life. And getting back to myelin, what about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis? Exactly. Okay, that's the destruction of the myelin sheath. Right, that's what I said. That was one of the diseases they showed in remyelinization. Yeah. And, s and certainly, uh, it's so deadly an illness, that should be something that's definitely used, but what about protecting, not waiting till we have a deadly disease, not waiting till we degenerate and get Alzheimer's. How about taking that as a protective? I use that every day. A few days uh, rest per, per month is supposed to be taken even at my age na with natural progesterone cream. And it's all USP certified. It gets through, it's transdermal. Why transdermal? Dr. Lee demonstrated, spoke this in his book, came here and lectured, did us a favor that time, <laughs> and lectured here uh, when he said, you can't take it by mouth, natural progesterone by mouth. I'm quoting him. He wrote in his books. Why? Because the liver inactivates it within minutes that way. It has to be done transdermally. So I just wish that the, that the world would wake up to that and realize how, how important that is. And y you were talking about the brain. Ro, Dr. Rowan says acetyl L-carnitine, like an alarm clock for your brain. Oh, it's remarkable for the brain. It says that it, it, ALC produces key chemicals that wake up your brain cells for better thinking and a longer-lasting la attention span. It's a powerful antioxidant, and this is the same thing he says that we does. We say it cleans away free radical damage in the brain, scrubs the brain rust that eats away your memory and concentration. That's called lipofuscin. <laughs> you got it. It also helps clear away mercury. Wonderful. Okay, now yes. that I just found out today. Wow, I didn't know. Yes. Yeah. That the ph physicians have been using uh, uh, that every three hours to clear away mercury deposits in the brain. And what's mercury? A major contaminant of the brain, which leads to what? Alzheimer's disease and to uh, a host of mental. Oh, uh, um, um, yes. What? Oh, you're pointing it's at right me. Here. What, yes. Gary? Oh, what's uh, he doing? Uh, He's uh, pointing to the sky. Uh, He's holding his head. Oh, He's rolling around the chair. He's about to slam on the table. Uh, okay, next subject. Oh boy. This is radio. <laughs> 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 they can't look at our faces, dear. Here's a letter. It'll come to you. Here's a, a letter from uh, Dr. Hibbert, M.D., who is no friend of health foods and vitamins, by the way. But I wanted to uh, read this to you because he's. Uh, this is one where he kind of shines. He, a letter to him said, I'm a 60-year-old moderately overweight female with plantar fasciitis. I've had this condition for 10 months. What, in your opinion, uh, what is your opinion about the effectiveness of instep plantar fascial fasciotomy? Fasciotomy, which is apparently cutting out the nerve. I've read all the online information I can find. Results seem very positive. On the other hand, surgery is a scary option since it is permanent. And the doctor says, I regard surgery for plantar fasciitis as an example of exchanging one problem for another. True plantar fasciitis will resolve spontaneously once the stimulus for the fasciitis, that is, an inflammation of deep supporting tissue, has been corrected or removed. 
Such an important point, dear. Okay. Now, again, what, do we, what are you hearing from us a lot, folks, is information about inflammation. Inflammation is the basic underlying cause of all disease. Say who? People like Dr. Hibbert, who is no friend of the, of the health food movement or natural supplementation or natural lifestyles. Dr. Hibbert generally recommends drugs, drugs, and more drugs. But here he's talking about what, it, what, what inflammation does. And what is the major tool we now have to fight inflammation? It's called pain power. Right. And that was when a lady who we've known for a very long time, very noble, strong soul, but had severe pain and crippling with this particular condition mm -hmm. that you're just mentioning. And what brought her out of it so that she couldn't stop raving? It was pain power. That's right. The natural vegetarian enzymes grown on vegetables with no side effects. And there's just one more quickie here. Please. Dr. Robert Washer says this. Chronic inflammation plays an important role in the development of cardiovascular disease and many cancers, as well as being an important component of diabetes. Chronic inflammation. Right. Again, That's diabetes, cancer, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, inflammation. What fights inflammation? Pain power. And what about aging? Inflammation is destruction of tissues, mm -hmm. glycation of tissues, hardening, destruction of collagen, wrinkling of the skin, uh, ability, uh, impaired uh, vision, you name it. Okay, you want that? Oh, you can stop that, stop the process that's out to get you. But I just want to make this a very important point. Pain power fights inflammation. We cannot say, or we make no claims of pain power curing cancer. We make no claims of pain power curing diabetes or curing heart disease. All we can say is what's been proven by physicians is that inflammation is very effectively neutralized by the proper enzymatic activity, which is what pain power is all about. Right, and I, I did want to just touch on the last thing that you talked about, uh, about the, well, not the last thing, there's so many other nutrients that are incredible for the brain, but they remember vinpositine, and that's uh, another one from Dr. Rowan. Mm -hmm. He says, like ginkgo, vinpositine is a vasodilator that relaxes the capillaries of the brain, opens up blocked blood, blood vessels, and enhances circulation. And like acetyl L carnitine, it's a powerful antioxidant that can repair free radical damage in the brain. So that's another 100 clinical studies. <laughs> oh, wow. Three studies of older adults with memory problems. A jaw dropping 87% of patients taking vinpositine scored dramatically better on tests of memory, concentration, and attention span, and plus it's safe and well tolerated by just about everyone, says the doctor. So that's really exciting. You don't have to wait to have a drastic situation to take uh, vinpositine. You know, I, I was just thinking drastic situation. I was thinking of a gentleman that came into the uh, Alive and Well and was looking at the... Um, Melatonin, one of the melatonin GABA formulas, uh, night rest with melatonin, which had a whole like taurine and GABA, et cetera. And he says that he had, was going to try this rather than, I'm not going to mention the drug name, but it's a drug that's touted on TV to give you a night's sleep. And then it has the list of side effects that we've read, and yeah. they also print on there that you can have. I said, do you know, Dad, you heard about this list of side effects relative to that medication you were taking? He said, no. I said, you didn't know that you could be driving a car while you're sound asleep and have complete and total amnesia about the fact? You could eat everything in your kitchen, wreck your entire house, uh, say and do things, and, and have all this activity during the night and never even know because you could kill yourself driving a car. You don't know that you're driving. You're mm -hmm. in a state of am amnesia. And this is, uh, these are the list side effects of being, of try you want to get a good night's sleep so you, you can risk having these psychotic amnesia episodes where you eat they said huge amounts of food mm -hmm. and uh or, or go off in a car driving anywhere in the middle of the night and have no memory of the fact that this has occurred would you rather do that or take a drink